We've gone from equality, or at least that's what the feminists were saying they wanted for women, equality, to female dominance, which according to the current woke paradigm is still not enough. Men, masculinity, and maleness are widely considered to be blights on humanity. They are not to be suppressed, but eradicated, looked down on. So don't expect the media to raise alarm over the situation I'm telling you, telling you about, um, no matter who it harms. It turns out that it's women who are actually being harmed the most by this development. Many women find that it's on them to work full time and take care of the kids. This may sound like a dream, but it's actually a lot to fall on one person. That's because now women, they're far more selective than men when it comes to finding a mate. We're seeing that one of the big determining factors for attractiveness among women is a man's salary. And as you know, salary can be impacted by education. And so in one experiment, researchers combined salary amounts with images of men and women, which were then rated according to attractiveness. The results were startling, maybe. It turns out that ratings of attractiveness were around a thousand times more sensitive to salary for females rating males. So women were saying, hey, I'm kind of interested in this guy who's more successful compared to males rating females. Males did not care at all if the woman was more successful. They were not more attracted to this woman. This experiment also tracked the body mass index, which is a metric of physical fitness of the raters um, as well as their ages. Interestingly, the women rating males showed the same preferences for a high-earning male, no matter his age and even his body type. On the other hand, what men prefer in a potential mate are the features that indicate youth and high fertility, two things you have less of as you age. So for college-educated males, women who put off marriage to earn a degree are already at a disadvantage to younger women as far as being chosen as a mate. Um, and this is compared to women who do not attend college. Those women are still seen as very desirable. But there's another exacerbating factor here. According to the Survey Center on American Life, the more educated you are as a female, the less willing you are to date or marry a male who isn't as educated as you are. This is because a lot of women want someone who is maybe just as smart or smarter than they are. The survey shows that among women with college degrees, 54% would not consider a man who did not attend college, whereas only 12% of women who lack a degree said they cared as much about the education level of a potential mate. 